Well, today is Equal Pay Day, and the message is simple. Women deserve equal pay for equal work. And here in Colorado, women still on average make 83 cents to the dollar that men make, and local women are working to change that. So joining us now is Allison Friedman Phillips. She's the Director of Programs for the Women's Foundation of Colorado. Allison, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. We're really, really grateful that you're here. So let's talk about the meaning behind Equal Pay Day. So um, it's on a day in particular, mm -hmm. and uh, why is that? this so, particular day so today is the day that it takes all women to make what men made in 2020 2022 and catch up for 2023 right. so it takes women almost 15 months to earn wow. the same thing that men did in 12 months and the story really doesn't end there um, in particular for women of color who are impacted by their gender and race their wage gap is larger mm. Wow. And Colorado, we know, is leading the way, right, when it comes to closing the racial and gender pay gap. Um, how is the Women's Foundation of Colorado helping with that? So in 2019, um, Governor Pola signed into law the Equal Pay for Equal Work Act, and it led the nation in terms of pay salary protections um, for, for the country. And actually now one in four workers in the country are covered by similar laws. And now we have a bill in 2023 that will not only continue to protect workers, but also make that original act easier for employees to implement. Mm. Um, so that's SB 23105, the Ensure Equal Pay for Equal Work. Just blazing trails. We love to see it. <laughs> we love to see it. Now, we know. speaking of, we know you had a busy morning at the Capitol. What yes. happened there? Yes. So um, this morning at the Capitol for Equal Pay Day, there was a House resolution that was read that really addressed a lot of the pieces that we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. And also as an opportunity for our coalition, which is made up of 9 to 5 Colorado and the Colorado Women's Bar Association and a number of organizations, um, to really show up and and share why this issue really matters to Colorado women and their families. Now, speaking of women who are watching, right, and they're seeing this firsthand, yeah. what should they do? What do they need to do? Well, I, I know that many of you probably heard Michelle's story from earlier. Yeah. Unfortunately, there are too many women like Michelle in our state. Um, and so first, I would recommend that folks know their rights. Visit our partner, Colorado Women's Bar Association's website to learn more about the Equal Pay for Equal Work Act and how it can protect you. And then second, I hope you'll join the Women's Foundation of Colorado in advocating for SB 23105. So if you go to our website, wfco.org, you can learn about how to join um, our in advocacy and hopefully pass this really important bill. Such an important work that you're doing. Allison, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having thank me. Thank you, yes. And we have this full interview and more resources for you at cbscolorado.com. Michael?